family, Tank Commander Zulu back at you once again in the Real Man Movement. Today, here at the Real Man Movement, we're gonna be dealing with honesty. Are you honest to yourself? Let's talk about it. Today, here with Tank Commander Zulu and the Real Man Movement. Fire in the hole, baby. Salute family, Tank Commander Zulu back at you once again in the Real Man Movement. Before we go into the topic of discussion today, which is honesty, I would like to invite everyone to become a subscriber to the channel. If you are not a subscriber, you need to subscribe today. And if you are already a subscriber, I salute you. Thank you for joining the Tank with Tank Commander Zulu so we can move this positive male enforcement message forward. And remember, it's not only fortifying for men, but for women also. Now back to the topic of discussion. Honesty. What does it mean to be honest? And what's more important? Being honest to someone else? or being honest to yourself. Well, let's talk about this characteristic called honesty. I can tell you right now, before we even get into the conversation good, that it is impossible for you to be honest to anyone or anything if you are not first honest to yourself. That's right. You must be honest to yourself and who you really are before you can effectively be honest in a relationship, in a friendship, or in anything that's gonna require honesty from you. Let's just think about it for a minute. Some people may ask, well, Tank Commander Zulu, what you mean by honesty to myself? I know, uh, I know me, I know how I feel, I know what I do and I know what I will do. Do you really? Because being honest, and in particularly honesty to yourself, is something that is very, very serious and at times complicated. Why is it so complicated? Because sometimes we do not want to face the truth about ourselves. Many times it's easier to face the truth and to see the flaws in someone else. It's easy to examine the truth where another person falls and fails. It's easy to say, look, I knew that boy was gonna do that. I knew that girl was gonna do that. She always been that way. He always been that way. You see, it's easy to see that. And in your opinion, you're simply being honest about the evaluation of another person. We all do it. But the bigger and deeper question is, are we honest with ourselves about who we are, about what we have done, about what we are capable of doing? Do we wear the mask of perception 24 hours a day? You know the mask of perception that we like to put on? The one where we want people to think the best image of who we are. And in a lot of cases, in many cases, or most cases, we're not like that, really. We're not honest with ourselves. You know, as an old guy used to tell me back in the days, you know, Sometimes you can tell a lie so good you believe to believe it yourself. You begin to believe it yourself. Because you've told that lie so many times about who you are and you know you're not that person. You're simply saying these things to get other people to believe in the character or the person that you have made yourself to be. Which is all formed and based in a lie. You're not honest with yourself. 
It's important to be honest with ourselves as men and as women. Why? Because it creates the best character inside of us. And if we're simply humbly honest about who we are, our flaws and our, and our failures and everything, then it's easier for people to receive us. You make yourself more believable and you are more believable. Why? Because you're honest with yourself first. But if you can't be honest with yourself, you create an image that's false. You lie about who you are. You lie about what you've accomplished. And you've told that lie so many times that you honestly, to a degree, believe it. You're being dishonest with yourself. Therefore, it's impossible for you to be honest to anyone else or to anything else because you have trained yourself to be dishonest and it started with this being dishonest to yourself lying to yourself and believing that lie you see here at the real man movement we deal with these things honesty is a noble characteristic in a real man and a real woman Honesty will keep you humble about who you are. Honesty will stop you from being big headed. It'll stop you from being arrogant. It'll stop you from being a narcissist. Honesty of self. We have to, the, the, the beginning of sharpening the character of honesty starts with yourself. Are you honest to yourself? There's so many people that I meet that aren't even honest to themselves. I can see it, but it's not my place to point it out. I have to spend my time being honest to myself. And your honesty, your self-honesty will be challenged all throughout your life. No matter how old you think you are, how accomplished you think you are, how knowledgeable you think you are. Your honesty daily, in one way or another, will be challenged. Now, will you lie to yourself? Will you always be honest to yourself? If we want to tell the truth, sometimes we haven't been honest with ourselves. It's things that we know about ourselves. Faults, failures, whatever it may be. We know about ourselves, but we tend to hide it and cover it up and act as though they don't, like it doesn't exist. We tend to embellish about who we are. That's, that's not being honest to yourself. You know, your, know your limitations and submit to, these are my limitations right now in my life. This is what I'm capable of doing. I haven't achieved this yet. And be honest about yourself. But going forward, be honest, be honest about the progression that you have made or you're attempting to make to be the person that you say that you are. That you know deep down inside you are. Honesty. Before we can exhibit or, or we can exchange honesty or give honesty to anyone else. Effectively. We must be honest with ourselves. Know what we can accomplish honestly without trickery or without sorcery or without sleight of hand or misguiding. See, that's what being honest about yourself, that's being honest with yourself, that it, 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 it's uplifting. When you can be honest with yourself about whatever the situation is, well, this is just where I am. This is where I am. I may not be where you are. I may not be where the popular opinion may, it is. I may not agree with that. I may not be there yet. But at least I'm honest with myself. I'm humbly honest with myself. 
There's a story in the Bible in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 8. And you'll find this story around in Acts chapter 8 verses 9 through 25. It's about a sorcerer. His name was Simon. And he lived in a in the town of Samaria. And what he did, he did a lot of sorcery. He did a lot of tricks and things that was sorcery. He knew in itself that it wasn't real. He knew that the, the tricks and the things that he was doing was simply to fool the people around him. To make them think he was something that he was not. Now this is Simon. The people even begin to call him, to, they begin to call him the hand of God. Now he's a sorcerer. In that same town, Samaria, is a guy named Philip. He's one of the disciples who's gone out preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. As Simon saw this, Philip was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and people start to believe in this gospel. Simon himself, the sorcerer, believed in it as well. And Philip began to baptize the people of Samaria in the name of Jesus Christ. Even Simon got baptized, the sorcerer. He believed. Now once the apostles who were in Jerusalem at the time got word that Samaria is beginning to accept the gospel of Jesus Christ, they're beginning to accept that word. Well, the disciples sent Peter and John, two other disciples, to Samaria to pray for them because they have not received the Holy Ghost yet. So when Peter and John got to Samaria, they prayed and they began to lay hands on the believers in Samaria and they received the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Now Simon saw this and in his mind, he went to, he went to Peter and John and said, listen, teach me how to do that. I'll pay you. I'll give you money for it. And Peter and John looked at him and they, and they rebuked him because they were telling them that this gift is from God. It's, it, it can't be bought. There's not a dollar amount on receiving the Holy Spirit. And for the very fact that Simon, the sorcerer, even asked for it, he was going back to his old ways before he started listening to Philip and he started uh, understanding the gospel of Jesus. He went back to the old ways of wanting to deceive people. What was a blessing and power from God, he saw it as sorcery. Something that he can make a gain from. Something that ensures that he is not honest with himself because all the time he was doing sorcery he knew it wasn't real it was a form of trickery you see what, 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 what Peter and John made him understand is that this Holy Spirit that's from God is not trickery it's real and there's no amount of money you can put on it so if you are going to a false church and someone is telling you, telling you, you have to pay this, you have to pay that to be able to receive the power of God in your life. They're actually teaching and preaching sorcery. They're in the same area as Simon was. And he was rebuked for what he had asked of Peter and John. Concerning the Holy Spirit. He wasn't honest with himself, first of all. As a sorcerer, he believed as long as he can make people see him a certain way. Remember, before, before Philip, before he was baptized, he, the people saw him as the hand of God. Because of his sorcery, which he knew was a lie. He knew it was a lie. He had paid for those tricks in the past. He was the master of deception at the pa in the past. And this is one of the examples of honesty. 
when you are honest with yourself. There's no need for trickery. There's no need to confuse the truth. There's no need to make anyone believe that you are something that you are not. You see, you can't wear the mask 24-7 every day, all day. There'll be a time when you are exposed with the mask off. Just like Simon. Simon did all those things actually to, to gain something to, to continue to deceive the people. But he was not allowed to. Could you imagine putting a price on the gift of the gift that is free from God? But that's what a dishonest, dishonest heart. That's what a dishonest person, a person who is not honest with themselves, that's how they believe. That's how they, they think. Now, the bigger question to all of us is, are we Simon? Are we living like Simon? Are we really sorcerers? Pulling off tricks and deceptions? To make people believe that we're something great when internally we know that we're not. We know that every so-called miracle to, the, to another person is nothing but a trick. Every so-called accomplishment that someone sees is nothing but a lie. It's like the sorcerer Simon. Are we being Simon? Or are we honest like Peter and John were in the laying on of hands and the people receiving the Holy Spirit? Listen, the Holy Spirit is real. Never listen to anyone who tries to discredit the power and the real existence of the Holy Spirit. They're simply not being honest with themselves. See, this is a great, a great lesson today. Honesty. Without being honest to yourself, you will never be able to be honest to anyone else. They will simply have to just accept you for your deceptiveness. They will have to accept you like the people accepted the sorcerer Simon. They thought he was something that he was not. Many people that we meet in our lives will portray themselves to be something that they simply are not. And many times we will wrongly believe them. In many cases, we will foolishly follow them. It's a mistake. Because they, they're not honest with themselves. But the bigger question is always, are we honest with ourselves? That's the question today. That's the thought to ponder. Are you Simon? Or are you Peter or John? Are you a person who's just simply honest with yourself, faults and all? Or are you a person who's vaguely flawed, but you lie to yourself about who you really are, and you perpetrate yourself to others as something that you simply are not? That's all I got today here at Tank Commander Zulu and the Real Man Movement. I'm going to stop the tank. But before I go, I want to invite everyone to become a subscriber to the channel. Also, give the videos a thumbs up. What this does is keep the tank moving and grooving. It keeps the tank commander, gives me the ability to continue to push out this positive male enforcement. That's not only good for men, but women as well. Women, you gotta know what a real man look like and how to associate and communicate with a real man. 
get these little boys out your life. And remember, fear no man but God, baby. No man but God. Bank Commander Zulu, signing out.